Hey yo, what's up guys? It's your boy Tin Yasin One, and today, uh, well, first off, I'd like to apologize for the late uh, upload and, well, possibly the late creation of the video itself. Um, I kind of fell sick, and while I still am sick, I've I got a bad throat, but I'm trying my best to express myself as much as I possibly can and not be as dull as I was in my previous uh, tutorial videos. And let's get right on to Unity and I got some stuff to show you guys. Capturing realism from the real world and pretty much uh, adding it or pretty much implementing it inside of my game or a game, whatever. Okay, <clears throat> so here I have a weapon test scene. So here I have a small course or not, not so small of a course which I use for testing um, a 9mm bullet as well as uh, I don't really remember that one the other one I think it was uh, 7.69 into something mm bullet and that was supposed to be the AK-47 bullet okay the bullet which AK-47 uses stuff like that okay so I went through both of their charts and apparently uh, the bullet uh, it had a mass of 124 grams and that's what I did exactly. I changed the bullet, changed the mass. In Unity, one is considered one uh, kilogram, so I just changed it to 0.124. Uh, I played around with the settings, with the drag, everything, but uh, you know something just wasn't right and everything. So, so let me just show you guys. Uh, after wasting four minutes of the video, I'm sorry, <laughs> but uh, okay. So here I have almost uh, 456 meters long core set. It is estimated. Uh, I think one of these, as you can see, it's 64 by 64 meters, so um, you can just see that I've, I've got about uh, seven of these, and then I've got some other uh, four by four uh, blocks here, and then I have an eight by eight by eight block here just to uh, kind of set or check the middle point and everything. So if I start the game right now, uh, let me just see if I can show you guys. Alright, so uh, I've, I've resetted everything so you can't really move the character, but I'll just have to, for some reason, you just have to initialize it for a star. So let me just do that. And now, as you can see, we're at 0 0 position. And also, uh, I try to make the camera as parallel with the target point as possible. So for that, I found the settings were almost, I think, 3, actually 2.5 something, I think. Yeah. So it, it pretty much seems parallel. And I kind of disabled the camera movement as well, so there we have it. I think it was three, maybe. I can't really remember. Yeah, it is three actually. Yeah. So, so if I kind of uh, put these viewports, you know, put these the scene view and the game view side by side, accordingly to the charts, there was about 2.6 meters drop or 100 some inches. I don't know. I don't remember really. So yeah, that was what it was supposed to be. And that was over, uh, that was about 500 yards or 457.2 meters, I believe. So I tried to recreate that, as I just mentioned before. So if I try to just shoot right now, you'll just see that the bullet drops at the point, which is 1, 2, and almost 2.3 meters right there. Okay, so it's almost, it's not perfect, it is almost, it is estimated. So this is at 8. Uh, eight by eight block, and I just kind of add this, added this in the middle, and one you can say block here represents one meter or one unit, and one unit just relies on one meter in Unity, as those are the SI units. Unity relies on the SI units, okay? So it doesn't use his feet or anything, but all of those were calculated in feet. The bullet left the muzzle at I think I don't remember it for you know accordingly to the feet, but I think it was. Um, Hmm. It was uh, quite a lot of speed for the AK-47. Might have the uh, charger. Yeah, there you go. So it was. I think it was 700 something for um, the bullet itself. It was 716 uh, meter per second something. I think. shoot or just a single bullet we'll just see the velocity is 695 it's pretty close to 714 but yes it's not perfect 
drop is pretty good as well i think uh, it's uh, or a force uh 456 meter course even though it was 472 it was four 57.2 meters originally or what it was supposed to be but this is how it is and then i also have another course or another target and i think if i can just activate that there we have it so this is the target for uh okay <laughs> So this is the target for the uh, bullet, or for the uh, AK, you know, for the M9. <clears throat> and again, this was supposed to be, I, I think I remember it, uh, this one pretty well, it was uh, 341.376 meter per second. I think there was a 12-inch drop, so about 0 0.3 meters. And uh, if I'm not wrong, of course, and then we can just kind of shoot and... If you kind of see, this is almost, this is like 0 0.25 and almost somewhere here, uh, 0 0.3 meter drop uh, is, okay, you can say so. This is, this is entirely, this is uh, two, by, uh, 2 by 2 meter block, if I can just show you. Here, uh, this one is, so it's 2 into 1 into 2 and just kind of rotate it in, so it's like that. And uh, this point is, these like consist of 1 meter each. So as you can just see, uh, if I try clearing the console, so it travels at 340 uh, meter per second, pretty close to 341.376. Of course, I can't recreate it perfectly, or maybe I can, but I don't know how. The travel time is pretty close as well, it was 293 milliseconds and it's 265 milliseconds here. All right, so uh, that's pretty much it for uh, both of these actually, and and there's a pretty uh, low drop here. Of course, it's a uh, because we're using the uh, AK-47 and it's supposed to drop uh, quite a lot, 2.3, yeah, 2.3 meters, I think, uh, over a course of 500 yards or for uh, 57 or 56 meters around there. So it's all estimates, recreate the experience better. Maybe I can improve it, maybe I can, uh, you know, uh, make some sort of a different kind of uh, first-person shooter system which might be different unique and yet better but unique is not always better no comment there <laughs> so uh, here we are back in our original scene so uh, I've got some new things for you guys uh, I got a zombie model of uh, the asset store again it's free and it's pretty well textured and pretty well modeled and uh, low poly not exactly low poly it's really detailed but it's not perfect it is pretty good also got a couple uh actually just a single motion capture animation off the uh if i remember correctly the anim street okay dot com and uh pretty good it, it provides a dot bvh format files and i pretty much applied that onto one of my dummy models and i just brought it in or not but anyways here are the zombies they just limp all the way and when they're close they just hit you and when they hit you you have this really nice effect uh it's a the win a day whatever you call it win a day with win a i'm okay i'm sorry okay i don't know how you pronounce it okay just correct me right i'm sorry man but uh they get this really nice uh let's say Let's call this uh, the darkening effect well when you're dying and you just dark out if that makes sense i didn't change the hands as you can see but i got I, I i kind of tried modeling a weapon and i'm still working on the hands i'm still thinking of modeling the hands and texturing them myself and using quixel or quizzle i think it's a pretty cheap software for uh texturing and i think it uses photoshop uh kind of a you can say a plugin for photoshop and pretty uh, works pretty amazingly so Let's try hitting a couple of them, and okay, they just turn into ragdolls, and it's kind of horrible, but it works. The ragdolls you see, they, <laughs> okay, okay, mate, seriously, you can't just step on him like that, right, thing. So I'm just gonna uh, get away with this, guys. Uh, it's, it's really, it's really loud, isn't it? All right, so they're just dead, and some of them are actually, I think, dancing. Well, look at this guy. He said party, and, and, ouch. All right, look at him. Wow. Pretty beautiful, by the way. And, well, the, the rigid bodies still do work even after they're die, uh, dead, but, like, I don't know. I don't think so. 124 gram bullet will move him. But anyways, 
Let's try shooting that object right there. If I kind of try aiming, like let's say I use a pistol and I aim directly for the object itself, so I'm not able to hit it, I believe. Yeah, if I aim a little higher, however, you can see I just uh, I was able to hit it, uh, keeping in mind the drop. However, I will be able to hit the object with this pretty easily due to the fact that the drop is of uh, 2.3 meters over a distance of 457 meters. So, that's a lot. <laughs> so, yeah. And I think I, I sort of have a crouching system as well. You can just press the uh, C key and you just kind of sit down. It's, it's, it's kind of horrible. There is no uh, animation for the third person character. Oh, and I fixed the animations and the movement. I'm sorry, I'm just really going fast through all of this. But... And as you can see, the animations are really different. The movement kind of feels more natural and it's not the default, uh, um, you could say, movement and all. And I didn't fix the aiming, however, still. There's a different running animation as well. And uh, let's just, let me just kind of go ahead and, okay. There's, I mean, I'm, I, I can see the button. Mate. Let's see. All oh, right, uh, that, that, that just feels too good. Okay, does it work? Okay, yay. Maybe I'm just a horrible. I'm just horrible at shooting. I fixed a lot of issues because before I didn't had, I didn't had anything like uh, what you call target. So even if I have that the cross here in the middle of the screen, the bullet won't necessarily hit it. Why? Because the bullet was supposed to just shoot out of the muzzle in whichever direction the shoot point was, it would ignore the middle of the screen or it didn't have anything like that. So, you know, I think dynamic uh, cross here, you know, the one you might have seen in modern first-person shooters where the cross here actually moves with the player, so if you're aiming down here, it would like move in, in 3D space and just stick to the floor and just move around. Or maybe based on, it won't exactly stick to the floor, but it will just you know, move to that specified position where you're aiming, and if you're closer, you'll just aim there and stuff like that, and what the hell? Oh, by the way, the feet are kind of, you know, thanks to that uh, crouching system, they are inside, or like, I don't know, whatever, they're beneath the ground, so. And yeah, you can just see there's no animations, the guy just sits down, like, what? And standing is horrible as well. So, and let me just go ahead and show you guys the... It, models, weapons, Glock, and we have a Glock. Really horrible, I model this myself, and let me just kind of real quickly go ahead and see if I can just show you guys. There we have it. So this is a gun, a weapon, a model. You know, uh, at first when you look at it, it looks fine, but I, I don't think so it's fine. Like, look at it, it's... If I click, you'll just see the edges are quite horribly distributed, especially at this part. And it's actually pretty noticeable the way they are distributed. I mean, I can soften, uh, soften the edges, but I don't think so it will fix anything. And then we have all the objects are pretty much separate. This is a separate object, and you can just see that there. It kind of works in a sense there. It's not joined. We haven't uh, joined the these, uh, the upper ones. You know, the uh, rear side and the front side. You can say, or well, so they are called. But I might, I, I will join them, yeah, most certainly. And if you're gonna see, this is this is how I plan on animating it. Not manually, of course. I do plan on rigging the weapon. So these are <clears throat> all rigged to specify bones. And there is no magazine, by the way. It's just, just blank down there. Oh my God, no vegetation system. I'm sorry. <clears throat> so yeah, guys. Uh, hope you guys enjoyed. And I know this is this is much. Nothing new, nothing much. Uh, the AI is just the only thing. I haven't made him all intelligent either. And he's, he just walks up to you and he doesn't even play as a hit animation. Oh, I know. <laughs> it's horrible, but... but... Anyways, guys, that's about it. I've said that a hundred times. A hundred time now. And... That's it, guys. So, hopefully you enjoyed the video and I'll see you guys... Later! I know I, I know I was later. I know I was late. Too late. But I'll see you guys late. And peace out.